Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Violet Chachki. Today on Runway Rewind, we are joined by a extra special guest judge. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll be a guest judge. Why uh, not? Well, I Why guess not? we are judging. <laughs> yeah, of right? course. Always. We always judge. That's what we do best. Naomi Smalls. And we are your Runway Girls. Runway girls. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on Runway Rewind. Oh my god, thank you for coming. I feel like you're a true fashion icon and this is where you belong. Oh, thank you so much. Absolutely, oh those legs, they can barely fit in this chair. Thank you, thank you. Girl, and she it. greased them up today. <laughs> I really did. Girl, it's catching I, all the light. No, this is like the full gigorama. I'm like super honored to be no, here. No, I live. Yeah. I tell all the girls like, Full looks, head to toe, drag. We I don't know. want. There's no waist up bullshit. <laughs> no, but I don't really feel the full like fantasy unless I'm in full drag. Yeah, that's like one thing about you that I've noticed is like you're like I love this the commitment, shaving the legs, mm -hmm. t taping. <laughs> I know the taping. Girl, is I'm like <laughs> we're like on tour together, and I'm like I can't believe this bitch is fully taped for this show. I know. Meanwhile, I have like a full bush and a gaff, and I'm like. <laughs> Sauntering around in a robe, <laughs> but like, like a giant man. But your costumes are so like strategically Strategic. planned out, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like still like up here in like diamond panties. She's like, like narrowing everything, <laughs> airbrush legs. <laughs> to each their own. I love. Um, today we are doing a runway that is a bit controversial. Ooh, controversial. Escandal. Escandal. Um, what are your thoughts on Victoria's Secret? Um, I like, I mean, I, like every gay boy grew up watching the Victoria's Secret uh, runway every single year. And it's so crazy, like, now that I look back at it, it's like so commercial. Like, so commercial. The whole, like, it's so, like, cheesy how they're like, oh, and here's. It's like almost like a pageant. Totally. It feels like Miss America or something. Totally. Like, you don't have necessarily have to be into fashion to like Victoria's Secret. Exactly. Like, every, like, a family across the world knows Victoria's Secret. Um, I always loved it for like, I mean, obviously I like to get, be naked and show my body. Hello, same that. girl, I'm like a fucking <laughs> stripper. Um, so it was really cool to see that on television and be so like normalized and yeah. like have as an inspiration growing up. We're gonna be rewinding Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2003. So it's like, I'm really into the 2000s as an aesthetic. So it's Absolutely. gonna be interesting to see how it like, translates into like a fantasy. Yeah, this is like baby, like simple life days. So like, oh my God, like trashy. spaghetti and really strappy. Yes, I hope we see some like bad extensions. Oh, absolutely. Or like a two tone. The black like, and the blonde. Like pink streaks and stuff. Yes, <laughs> I did an early 2000s digital drag, which is another series of mine. So you should totally check it out. So with all of that being said, I mean, all the nostalgia and all the kind of like fabulousness that we remember from Victoria's Secret mm. and the fantasy and all of that, now there's like a big controversy because the CEO has said that their fantasy, it's a fantasy show, which I can agree on, but right. basically said that that doesn't include trans women or plus size models. And the internet went wild when right. this happened and basically canceled them, it's very cancel culture. And yeah, I don't know, it's just, it kind of sucks. Yeah. It kind of just sucks. Cause like, I really, again, we like love the fantasy aspects and like the nostalgic moments. So it's interesting. So it's going to be nice to kind of go back before he said that and look at what was going on. <laughs> um, and apparently they're not going to be televised anymore. I, it was like just reported that Victoria's Secret will no longer be televising their runway shows. That's bizarre. And they're trying to like reformat. Well, I find it just so bizarre that, I mean, this is the way that the future is just going. Right. Like, and to not accept that and acknowledge that and just like continue on with something that you care so passionately about. I'm sure like all the designers are yeah. very bummed about this happening. I mean, I have friends that like make all the wings for her and like Brian Atwood does the shoes. Mm -hmm. It's like, you like the CEO was being really selfish when he said that. And it's right. also like, if you, if you truly believe that, like, why would you say that out loud right. in print? Uh, it's clear that every thought that comes into your head does not need to be like on Twitter or Facebook oh, or in God. an interview at all. If the thoughts that came into my head, <laughs> like, especially at the airport, were just oh, like, I, <laughs> you already I, know. I, like, oh. if the shit that I think about at the airport was like, I live tweeted it, like my brain just like tweeted them out, right. I would be in jail. Oh like, yeah, and you're a human, of course you're gonna have those thoughts, but once you put it down in print, it's gonna last forever. Yeah, it's just stu it's just bad business and it's stupid, and he's just like a shitty person for saying it and yeah. believing it. 
But but back to the fabulous. But back to the fabulous. <laughs> we just had to touch on that dark dark moment just for a sec. Okay, hit it. Oh my god, Aquaria. Oh my god, that is Girl, Aquaria. I'm walking on it. <laughs> Venus. Tonight. <laughs> Oh okay, God, the production's gaggy though. Yeah, like, how I will fierce say. is that? Oh. Okay, I'm not into the whole like. Is that Adriana Lima? It is. God, she is so f***ing gorgeous. You know she's a fan of mine. Oh really? You just had to say <laughs> I that. Had to just had to plug. <laughs> She'll be on my channel at some point. Ooh, and there's latex. Okay, oh, she looks so beautiful. I know. Oh my gosh. The bodies though, like I cannot even imagine. Bitch. Adriana Lima is that bitch. She is that bitch. It's, that body. It's so cunty to open. Yeah. Well, she just retired also. Or from Victoria's Secret. It was like her last one. Oh my God, and Giselle? I guess it was Victoria's Secret last one. <gasps> Stop. Icon. Is that Giselle? Yes. Ugh. Oh my God, that body That little too. ruffle <laughs> panty bitch. Okay, this is like what goes on in my mind. I know. Like this is like, when I first started drag, it was definitely. That's why I wanted to pick this up because I'm like, she's so that girl. Oh, you know it. She's so this girl. You know it. We're the girls who literally go on Drag Race and get yelled at for bra and panties. Oh, and fully. we're like, wait, what? That my whole season was like, um, I'm seeing a trend here, like thigh high stockings and bras and panties. You're like, I guess I gotta wear pants for the finale. Pants here on we the go. Runway, mama. Inspiring future generations of drag. <laughs> oh my God, is that a dragon? Oh, okay, I'm like getting inspired. That's so <laughs> weird. Okay, but not by that one. Lady Dardo's back. <laughs> These are cut looks. That little like, okay, no, for real. I didn't even like know I was gonna be inspired by this. <laughs> Can you imagine being like that gorgeous? I mean, I guess we kind of are. I couldn't even imagine having to go before Naomi, to be honest. Like, I'd want to get the fuck off the runway immediately. Uh. <laughs> like stop. Gag, bitch. <laughs> stop it. She's so beautiful. And that hair, she was like ahead of her time with this little like I hair know. on a grande half pony thing. Ugh. I live for her. But, but it, I live that she lives for me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it's up. on video. She was saying. There's like an interviewer, they're like, who's your favorite like women in fashion? And she's like, she's not really a woman and she's not really in fashion, but Violet Trotsky. Oh, I love that. I'll send it to you. That's so cute. No, isn't it cute? I love that. And she's like the one. There had to be like drama with all the girls. This is like, I feel like this is the most like coveted. Well, or at least it was the most coveted supermodel. Totally. Gig. Because like if you're if you're there, you're there for a reason. You're one of like the main ones. So obviously you're already gonna have the ego attached to yeah. it. Like you're so lucky I'm here. Gag. But all of them are like that. So this is pretty much a drag show. <laughs> yeah, like our show, we all think we're the headliner. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're like, no, BBB, I'm closing the show. I am Miss Madrid. I am Miss Madrid. <laughs> okay, but I'm living for this moment. A yeah. little like cabaret. Okay, Vincent, take notes. That's the VR <laughs> choreo for tour. <laughs> a little chair dance. Is there more late? Like, this is this latex too? No. Yeah, it looks like just unshined. <laughs> like not looped. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I'm like fully getting my life. Yeah, I would feel like very, 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 very empty with a million dollars on my chest. Is that fur too? Damn. Girl, they had no fucks to give. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, yeah, imagine being a bitch to be like, <laughs> see that big giant, di like all of that is diamonds. Okay, but the hair is just... The hair is so bad. <laughs> oh, but I love this. This little like heart, like overwire bra heart thing that's coming down the runway next. Are those Heidi's like natural boobs? Do we know? I don't know. I feel like she's not above getting a boob job. Oh my gosh, imagine having like a, you, you don't have bodies like this on runways. Anymore. No. Like. Okay, I'm into this like heart thingy. They didn't really even show it. Rude. Not the tramp stamp. <laughs> yes! I kind of want to get a tramp stamp. Not the fedora. <laughs> <laughs> Did she throw it? Absolutely Did she throw the fedora not. off? Did she? I hope so. I hope so too. What would your tramp stamp be? Like a tribal tramp stamp. Oh my god, like. Just for like to be ironic. <laughs> you don't want to be ironic for the rest of your life. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, not, is that Sting? Like, Did Sting do the Tarzan soundtrack? Did he? 
<laughs> that song makes me cry all the time. Song. But you'll be in my heart. Yes. Makes me up. <laughs> that song is the only song that I like of Stings, but it's fully not Sting. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to know all their like backstory and like casting and everything. No, I we know. get it. You're from Arkansas. It's this is your dream. Blah blah. blah. <laughs> like whatever. I was casted. I was at a fruit stand. Someone yeah. walked up to me. The next day, I was in New York on the cover of Vogue. <laughs> okay, not this short and sassy hairdo though. Lisa I Rinna. <laughs> I can't handle the short and sassy and her like <laughs> at the end of the runway. Oh my God. No! No! <laughs> 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 Ugh. Not that like. <laughs> That's fully us getting no, off the stage absolutely. though. Like, <laughs> absolutely. Like tearing my lashes off. At oh, this look fucking slays me, bitch. So good. Girl. S like nothing's that, like I would wear that today. So good. Iconic. This look slays. Ah! It's, Flames are like the new millennial pink. It's in, but like on the way that Prada does it, it's like so so not something that you could just get at like Dolls Kill. Yeah, <laughs> you well, know? they you try. Can't, you can't call <laughs> not it Dolls Kill. Drag them. Drag La Gancha. <laughs> Hashtag Pretty Little Thing. Oh my God! Stop sponsored. <laughs> Ooh, this is cute. This is like I think the, my favorite color to wear. Yeah, I should wear more color. I feel like I'm <laughs> such a goth bitch. Mm, that, well, your hair's always black, so you can yeah. wear whatever the f color you want. It's a neutral. Oh, oh. this look. This bitch. is the look. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is literally okay. But I'm also living for like the showgirls on the staircases right now. I know. Production. Oh, I just got it. It's a V and an S. I was like, why do they have the Shrek logo behind her? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know. Me. Up. I know. I've watched this video. I want to say. Like, a million times yeah. in my life. Like this on repeat. Is so your tea. It's that's exactly what I want to look like when I'm in drag. You do look like that. Oh, thank you. I want you to do this hair though, I think. With I like know. that rhinestone little like scrunchie. She needs ventilated. She needs custom. <laughs> I have a guy who ventilates for me. Okay. Like moderately reasonable. I would love that. Yeah, you like need that hair, I think. It's so good. And the human pony. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. <gasps> Not to look down. They did her so <laughs> dirty. They did her so fucked They up. did her so dirty. <laughs> the key is never to look down. Bitch. They just did, they zoomed into her foot. I know. Bitch, they just did her so dirty. Oh my God, cameraman is fired. Who would you be screaming at if you were the model? Like who would you blame in that moment? Yourself or would you blame the designer? You, honestly, you, you have to it? blame yourself in that moment because during the run, the like, Rehearsal, you should be like, well, these need to be trimmed. Right. I'm not doing this until these are trimmed. Right. Because that, that's happened to me before. Really? I walked to a show once and we did the rehearsal in these like platform shoes mm -hmm. and it was fine, like the length was fine. And then they were like, oh, we need these shoes for someone else. Just wear uh. your own shoes. And so it dropped like three inches and I had oh to like pick it up as I was like scooting around the runway. That's so annoying. This whole runway was really, like, I'm like low key inspired, which is like not like a bad thing, but it's not necessarily a good thing either. I think it's a good thing. I mean, that's fashion. We always go back yeah, and I like. Know. It's just problematic. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> 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 if I like something, I like it. So, oh, I you know. know. No, I mean, like, I can still like be inspired. Yeah. I'm just being like PC. An activist. This is my for activism. Okay. <laughs> this is my art. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, Korea really got her Aquaria, moment. Korea, come <laughs> through, bitch. Yes. Oh my god, how fierce. How long do you think she was waiting up there? Okay. The gag. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> With the ISIS wigs. It would be so cool if they had like a fucking pregnant bitch come out, or if they had a trans bitch come yeah. out, or perform or like, plus size models. Or like, even like a boy in lingerie would be fierce. Oh too. my yeah. god! Yeah. They have like they so missed an opportunity to make this. Like this is amazing, of course, but like it'd be like this whole vibe, but with all those people included, right. would like burn the building. That was cool, Whew, girl. That took me back to like elementary days. I'm like. Surprised that I was inspired. Really? I'm like excited to get in drag next, like again. It inspires me to work the fuck out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, okay, I need to get my mood boards together because that was. Yeah.
vote. So final thoughts, final words. Uh, final thoughts. I like, Naomi really took it home for me. Again, always. Uh, I would Agreed. not want to be on the runway at the same time as her. But I think that the really cool thing about this runway, for sure, like I said in the beginning, is just like the confidence that you can see is happening on the stage through fashion. I think that's like so cool. That's like my favorite part. The of magic fashion. of glamour. How you feel yeah. when you get dressed up. For sure. I mean, there's like so much smoke and mirrors going into this show in particular. Mm -hmm. Like, just like, it's like how we go out when we walk out on stage and it's like 7,000 people or whatever it is. Right. Um, I think that concludes <laughs> today's episode of Runway Rewind. Cute. I had an amazing time. I had so much fun talking with you. Thank you for being here. And looking at the girls that we wish we were. Girl, <laughs> the, the OG inspirations. Totally. The inspirations. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all of the goodness. And we'll be back with more Runway Rewind soon. Mwah.